listening to Acoustic Songs Live here on WNJR 91.7 FM in Washington at WJ, WNJ College. Uh, my name is T. Mitchell Bell and I'm your host here. And uh, we have Bayard Solomon behind the board uh, producing the show. We have Tom Briding in the studio here today. And uh, thank, thank you for joining us, Tom. Uh, thank you, Mitch. It's good to be here. Great. Um, Tom, Tom and I, uh, full disclosure, he known him for a while. We played. Uh, he played at my CD release show. So, uh, yeah. he, uh, good night too. That yeah, nice. that was fun. Um, so, Tom, uh, I you know wanted to get into a little bit about your background. And everything is, is. Do you want to dig into a song first of all, like right off the top? Uh, sure. Something. Uh, what are you going to play off your latest CD? Or uh, um, well, I'm working on a CD now, and I've got. Uh, I think I've got all the basic tracks done for it. I think I'm. The, the lineup, the song lineup is finished for it, and uh, I, I wouldn't mind sharing the, the opening cut with you. Okay, great. Out on the highway with a rising sun, trying to clear my conscience of some things I hadn't done, making excuses by the long day's end, I was a mixed up soul. Brother, that was then, I'm coming back. I ain't telling no more lies. Little girl, won't you let me in? Your long lost boy is born again. Born again. I've been working real hard to get myself clean Won't feed that devil's fire Gasoline Things were once good before I slipped off track Now I'm looking straight ahead to find my way back I'm coming back I'll look this world right in the eye St. Peter, won't you let me in? Your long lost boy is born again. Born again. I'm bringing my guitar when the sun goes down I'm gonna throw it in the back keep my right foot down There's a long road ahead, an empty seat beside We'll find salvation if you're ready for the ride I'm coming back Take my hand Little girl, won't you let me in? Your long lost daddy is born again. Born again. So the, la uh, the last CD was uh, based on uh, Coalfields of West Virginia, it was uh, yeah. that type of theme, uh, any theme like that for this next one? Is that it? Um, no, it's, it's kind of funny you ask because um, I've accumulated quite a few songs since the release of the Unbroken Circle, the record you're talking about, and uh, you know, I kept telling people that uh, you know, I had a lot of songs but I just wasn't hearing a record yet. And, um, a lot of people said what you said. They, they said, well, you know what you need. You need to find a theme, a common theme. 
Well, I never really found a theme like I had in the Unbroken Circle where there's a, a lyric theme or whatever. But uh, I was so lucky to come across B.C. Taylor, who when he was 18 years old, that's B.E. Taylor's son, B.E. Taylor's a, a pretty famous musician here from the Pittsburgh region. But his son's an incredible drummer. His son helped me finish off Two-Tone Chevrolet about five or six years ago when he was just in high school. And uh, so we were able to cross paths again, and we did a bunch of sessions, some down at uh, Jamie Peck's place in Longview Digital and some up at mine. And I just loved what I had from these drum sessions. And uh, these, sometimes I just had pieces of music that I just asked him to play to, and they're turning into some, some real nice tracks. So. I think the common theme is uh, I'm going to uh, have one particular bass player I have in mind. I, wanna, I don't want to say his name in case it doesn't work out, but I think it's going to work out. We did a show together with the three of us. And so the, that's the theme, the three of us together kind of doing our own thing. And, mm -hmm. But the record, too, I guess if there is any kind of theme, mm -hmm. lyrically or whatnot or message-wise, you know, I was very blessed with the Unbroken Circle because uh, it had uh, great success on the Americana radio charts. and. Um, you know, a lot of spins from coast to coast, and it took me a lot of different places. And I, at the same time, it occurred uh, during my period with Bill Toms, whom I still play with, who's a great uh, musician here from Pittsburgh. And, uh, you know, he took me to Italy with him, and I got to do some touring with him. So some amazing things have happened to me in the last four years, and uh, if these songs have any type of common theme, a lot of the songs were written about or in places around the world where I've been in the last four years. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice to have that, I guess. So it's the uh, troubadour theme, huh? The, <laughs> yeah. the road, road warrior theme, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I know, that putting, you know putting together songs for a CD is always a, uh, an art in itself that... Um, I think that, and a lot of people, I think it's a lost art in a lot of ways today. I really do. With, with, in with the digital age, you don't, you know, people don't focus on the album as much as they used to. And, and so I think it's, I think it's all important. Of course, I'm, I grew up in the '70s listening to album rock, you know, FM, right. album rock, and I, I'll never get away from that. Like you know. Dark Side of the Moon. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, any any of the uh, records that you think of that had a theme to them, or they were, I, I, you know, the Who was great at that too. They would put together a, a, you know, Tommy. Rock opera, I think yeah. the first one. Um, but now, you know, it's kind of moved back to where it used to be back in the '50s, where they would release a single. You know, and it's like here's the here's a hit single. And, yeah, and, and that's pretty cool. You know? you know, I think it's cooler for the younger people. I think yeah. my age, you know, I'm uh, actually Bill laughed because I told him about this this collection of songs I have for the new record. I said, and it has a single. <laughs> he he <laughs> laughed at me. <laughs> but I still look in terms of that. You know, I, it. it I have a song that I have in mind as a single, so yeah. Of course, it won't be released as it could be, I guess, on CD Baby, and you know. Well, there's some people doing some stuff in Nashville. I know Jack White Studio. They're doing that. They're doing all analog. That's right. And they're going right to 45. They'll record it right on analog, and then they put it right on the 45, and yeah. they get it like, you know. You know what, my son. Uh, well, I'm dating myself now, but my son has a, a subscription to Rolling Stone magazine. Mm -hmm. And I read briefly something about that in there. I'm glad you reminded me of that because it's something I want to go back and look at. And, uh, Third Man Records. Third Man Records. Yeah, Good. I'm yeah. glad you reminded me yeah. of that. Yeah, it's 